Hello Virgos, how are you all doing? This is Kelly from Deep Soul Tarot. Um, welcome or welcome back to the channel, my beautiful Virgos. We are doing your monthly reading, Virgo. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Um, it's a general read, so it may not resonate for all of you. So just take it resonates, leave it doesn't. Um, what else? What else? Um, oh, this is a timeless read. So right now, as I'm recording these, it is based for July 2023 in general. But for anybody who comes across this video towards the end of July, sometime, you know, in the middle of the year, next year, if you come across this and you click on it to watch it, then there is very likely possibly a message for you in the reading. And they are timeless. That is how I conduct. I do a little meditation type thing before and I speak to the higher masters and guides and they are fully aware of how, how I, we're a team. <laughs> we have a contract, you know, and they're fully aware how, um, how I do my readings and, uh, and they told me they prefer it that way. They want everyone that, that needs it to get the messages. So, so I do them timeless. So if you're watching this past July, have no fear. These are still good. Anyways, Virgo. But for those of you who are watching in July, let's see what's going on here. One more shuffle. I do encourage you to stay through the whole reading. If you can't watch it all at one time, totally understand. I understand. I do that myself sometimes. I'll start a reading and get interrupted. I have to stop. But many times the end of the reading is when they're, because, you know, in the middle of a reading, things can change. You know, and by the end of the reading, there may be a message in there that you missed. And so what we're going to do, I'm going to some general energies up here, general energies. And then I will do uh, love, personal growth. Um, it's uh, like career, health type thing. And then some advice. So if you click off in the middle, you're going to miss all this. See what I'm saying? And if you can't, if you don't have the time to watch it, that's fine. I understand. Um, but and in mine or anybody's video, I encourage you to try and watch the whole videos when you can because um it's especially when they're like monthly type videos or things like that uh maybe not so much weekly but you know you never know when there's a message in there for you and by clicking off you may very well be missing a message that spirit had for you that thing all right virgos we're working on something what are we working on Ooh, well we're working on our strengths is something wearing you down mm. it's cups it's a new love situation. All right. Well, let me just quickly go. I'm gonna move these up here for a minute because this is what I'm. This is what I'm hearing here. So you have strength, ace cups, and you have the uh, king of swords underneath. And underneath that, I'm not gonna go any further than that. Well, maybe you. They got the four of cups and the two of wands. Let me start here and then I'll continue. So you're working on yourself or you're working on something. And, or maybe it's a relationship and it's taken all your strength to get through this or get it done. Um, it could be a new love. If it's not a love situation, it's working on yourself, trying to get things together in your life. But whatever it is, you want to speak your mind about it. So if it's a relationship, you are wanting, I'm not saying you have yet, but you're wanting to speak your mind about something. And you're not going to you know, sugarcoat it. You're not gonna cut anything out. You're you're ready to tell somebody something, because right now you're just not emotionally satisfied with the way things are going, and you're trying to decide what path you want to go. And someone could have lied to you. Could have been a breakup. Holy crap! I gotta stop. <laughs> I have to stop. Let me tell you, Virgo. I could keep going. Let's see what's going on. But anyways, we'll get back to the three of Pentacles here. So it's a, you started something. And maybe you were trying to do too much at one time and you're focusing on this one thing and this is important to you and you're trying to <laughs> I just heard okay because I heard you know the strength card is Leo if you're a Virgo cusp of Leo I just did cancer cusp of Leo I'm doing cusp readings so uh, in July no August They'll be coming out either the end of July or the beginning of August. Will be a cusp reading specifically for Virgos, uh, Leo Virgos born July nineteenth. Is that right? July nineteenth to no August nineteenth <laughs> to August twenty fifth. 
sorry. If you're born in between there, um, that's that'll be the cusp reading that's coming up. But I just heard for those of you who may be on the cusp of Leo, that's why I thought of that. Um, you may normally be a person who doesn't have maybe a quick temper or um, lash out or say something that and it's getting to the point where you're just you're just not you're not able to hold yourself back. You're trying to hold yourself back and it's taking all your strength to uh, I don't know. I don't know where that came from and I don't know if that resonates for anybody. Let's move on and see what's going on and then we'll we'll figure it out. Your current self. See, you're working on something. You're just working, focusing on your work. Oh you Virgos, you workaholics, you. My dad was a Virgo. I loved him to death. I got along great with my dad. But he was a lot older than my mom, so he was from a whole different generation. But man, he was never home, rarely home. And I really, I got along great with him. We had a lot in common, music and sports. And he just, he worked a lot. So that was kind of a bummer. So, um, and come on, Virgos. We all know the Virgos are workaholics. We know that. And perfectionists. A lot of you are perfectionists. Now, it does depend on what you have on your chart. But I'm just saying. Um, but Virgos are, I mean, I, I'm learning more about Virgos now, honestly. And I was just thinking about this when Father's Day, my dad's passed away. So, um, and he passed away, um, I was, I was still fairly young because he was older than my mom. So I was still fairly young when he passed away. I mean, I was in my twenties. I wasn't a child, but I was in my twenties. But, um, and now that I, I know Virgos better, I don't realize my dad had a great personality. He was very social. People loved him. I realized, though, that he had a moon in Cancer. So he was not He was kind of a typical Virgo, but then he wasn't. And now I understand it more. Now that I've studied this astrology and all this more, I wish I had known that back then because we really connected. And um, I'm telling you my life story here. My whole point in that is to say that sometimes when you get too involved in your work, you start to neglect other things in your life whether it be personal relationships and things like that. And we'll get down that down here and see what's going on. So you're either working a lot, you're either trying to avoid something, or you're just trying to get something done, or you're just trying to work on yourself. There are a lot of possibilities with this, which I may, depending on the read, have to clarify. Sorry to go off on that little tangent there, but uh, so the theme for the month, oh my goodness, Virgo, okay. What's going on? Okay. Well, there's been some sort of altercation. Excuse me. And if it hasn't happened, it will. All right, Virgo. Here's what I'm hearing. I'm going to give it to you straight. Something. See these people in here. I, I just see the two people on the side and the one person doing their work. And it's like, leave me alone. Just leave me alone. Now, I don't always see that in this card, but for this instant, that's what I'm seeing. Um, just leave me the F alone right now because it's taken all my strength to not say something. That's that King of Swords. That King of Swords is not going to hold back. It's not going to like sugarcoat because the King of Swords says things and makes decisions. There's no emotion involved. It's not as bad as the Queen of Swords, but it's just matter of fact. And with this here, it's like you may end up saying something and it causes some sort of rift between you and someone or some like either a job or family or a relationship and so there may be some rough times in the next 30 days for you Virgo not gonna lie but that doesn't mean we can't get through them right all right let's let's move on so your key goal for this month is mm, okay is the judgment card Whatever the situation is, Virgo, it doesn't sound like a good one. If it's a relationship, and these aren't, you know, these are just general reads, so it's not based on love or anything, but if it is, this may not be the relationship for you. There's something not right. And if it's not a relationship, whatever the situation is, and believe me, I'd like to keep going deeper in that deck because there's a, you know, underneath the deck gives a lot of information, but it does, you know, take a lot of time. And I like to get down to the nitty-gritty, but, you know, I don't want a two-hour-long video for y'all. So the Judgment card is basically a time of going within yourself. This is a spiritual awakening, basically, is how this card is, is overall. And there's something that, with the Swords cards here and the King, 
something that, and if the Ace of Swords comes up, we're going to know something that maybe you didn't realize before, or maybe you kind of realized, but it's gotten to a point where it's like face, it's in your face and you're going, I have to take care of this now because... I don't want this in my life or I don't want to have to worry about this all the time and there's some sort of aha moment there's something that um, your key goal is to take care of whatever that is that is keeping you dormant see how these I don't know if you can see there they were in caskets dormant in there for a long time and now it's time for this cycle to end you're not quite there yet if the, the card after this is the world. That's the end of a cycle onto a new chapter. A new, it's a portal into a new chapter of your life. So there's something here that needs to be put to rest so you can feel yourself again. You can be reborn. And it may take some sort of aha moment. Maybe this was the aha moment, some sort of argument or altercation, some sort of line that you realize. I'm not sure for sure, Virgo. And again, maybe we can clarify. Your obstacle... Yeah, you just want to get the F out of there. <laughs> I'm sorry, Virgo. You just want to get out of there. And the obstacle is, is you want to go now, but there may be something that's tying you there. And it could be work. I mean, you're working here, but you've been trying. Maybe, maybe you've been trying to prove yourself at work, and they're just not appreciating you. Maybe you said something. I, I don't know. This is kind of going in a weird direction here, Virgo. But let's, let's continue, and I will see your actions. I'm afraid, I'm afraid to pull this card up, Virgo. <laughs> oh, okay. Justice. That's a good card. That's a very diplomatic card. So, um, although you're running away from justice, so I don't know, maybe you weren't as diplomatic as you had hoped because, you know, things may have come out. But the justice card is you just want things to be fair. This is a Libra card, in case you're dealing with a Libra. And this is an air card. Aries, not Aries. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, if you're dealing with any of those people. Um, the truth has to come out from somewhere, whether it's you. I, I think it's for you, you need to speak your mind here. You need to speak your mind and let them know, let somebody know what's going on here. And be truthful about it. Be as truthful as you possibly can be. Because right now, the justice is about balance. Right now, something in your life is about is an imbalance. So your action is trying to figure out a way to balance this. And I don't know what the situation is, and we'll see as we move on, but um, and maybe, maybe this is you're just not done fighting, you're just not done speaking your mind yet. This is pretty heavy here, Virgo. This is not how this was supposed to go. All right, now we're going to get to the relationship. Let's see if there's anything there that says, oh yeah, see, there's some sort of disappointment in your relationships now this is the cups card which is about emotions so and this, and this is usually about love doesn't have to be so on the side note if it's family friends or something that's disappointed you this applies as well but I usually view this as a love situation uh, maybe you're going through a divorce or something and you're having a hard time I and mean, this, this could actually just be going to court you know and you just have to wait for some sort of decision uh, I, you know, we'll, we'll see. I may have to clarify. <laughs> this might be a little bit longer, Virgo, okay? Because I have to clarify these. Um, right now, you're not in the best state of mind, Virgo. You're focusing on your emotional loss here, or whatever it is. The Five of um, Cups, though, is a card of turning that around. If this person just turns around, there are two cups here. So, they can go... It can go in many different directions here. It can mean that if you think a relationship's over, maybe it's not. Maybe a relationship is over, but in time you will find somebody who is best suited for you. You know, give yourself time to heal. Uh, if it's a disappointment with people, um, it's a time to work through those emotions and then turn around and decide how you want to proceed. The twos, I see the twos a lot of times as the masculine and feminine energy. This is more feminine because it's emotional. But then at some point you can become, um, deal with those emotions and then rationalize that, you know, things happen for a reason and maybe this wasn't the situation for you that you were meant to be in. I don't, I really don't know here. Um, let's see, let's see your personal growth. Let's see what that's all about. The high priestess. Now this is spiritual enlightenment. This is, um, trusting the process. 
trusting and you Virgos I think are pretty good at this because your card is the Hermit card which is the card of retreating and doing some soul searching so I think you're really good Virgos at soul searching some may be better than others like I said depends on what's in your chart um, so it just depends but the High Priestess is really going inside yourself and trusting that intuition whatever you may trust your voice inside you know that may be not the way you usually do it Virgo but right now um, your personal growth you're gonna best uh, get through this by trusting your internal voice and that internal voice may have already been telling you something about the situation and maybe you weren't quite listening and the high priestess is saying listen listen a little bit better here because I think you may know you may know something's not quite right or you know I don't know where you're at in this because sometimes these readings the energy is fluid so it could have already happened some of it some of it may not be happening until after July it just depends it's a process it's a divine timing is different for everyone um, the high priestess very much deals with moon energy you may want to pay attention to I just did a new moon reading but you may want to pay attention to the cycles of the moon Sometimes they can give you answers, like different phases of the moon are, <clears throat> are meant for, it, it, affects our, it affects our energy very much. I don't know if a lot of people realize that, but it does. And sometimes it's best to do things during certain phases of the moon, and sometimes it's best to not do it during those. So you might want to pay attention to that. But yeah, I think right now it's a time to just trust the universe, trust your internal voice. And it's a mist. Maybe you're not sure what to do right now, and it's a mystery. Well, just you know, the judgment card here. You're almost to the end of a cycle. The uh, the high priestess will eventually help show you the way. Uh, she only gives out information as as she, feminine energy, feels that each individual is ready. Okay, so just keep that in mind. Same with the universe. You know, it all ties in. The universe is only going to bring you certain things in your life at certain times once you've learned certain lessons. And sometimes it sucks, but all right, your career, mm, career's going good, or your health is going good, or both. Your career's going good. Maybe you start a new job. Well, that's interesting. Yeah, with that, um, with this card, this is a new beginning, a new, something's inspired you. Maybe you started a new project at work. This is a great card, the Ace of Wands. It's a, you're starting to feel, maybe you're feeling better about things. Maybe you're feeling better about your job. Maybe your person's bothering you with your job. And you're like, leave me alone, I'm trying to work. All right, let's see what the advice is here. Oh, yeah. All right, so Virgo, what I'm hearing here is there are certain things that are weighing you down. Certain things that, I'm going to say it's baggage, whether it's emotional baggage or any other thing. You know, you can have mental baggage too, like... If you think negative thoughts all the time, that could be stuff that you need to just get rid of so you can clear your mind. There's a lot going on here. I'm not going to lie, but your advice is to just do what you need to do. Speak your mind. Do what you need to do in your life. And, you know, if it affects, if it affects other people in negative ways, that's kind of the way it has to be. But this is a new beginning for you. This is a whole new beginning for you. Let July be, or the next 30 days, whenever you're watching this, be a whole new beginning for you. Now, I am going to have to, because this is a little bit vague, where are we here? Oh, we're not doing too bad. This is probably going to be, I try not to get, let me, I say this in all my videos, and I'm just going to say it to you. Honestly, I try not to do half an hour videos, and I do kind of, every so often, ramble in, in between here and there. And um, I guess I do that so I can let you know that I can relate to some of the stuff or start it um, to get a little more information in there. But I am not going to rush through a reading and not get the right messages out. Like I said, only to get views or to get people to watch my whole video. I would like you all to watch the whole video all the way through um, because I think it's beneficial. But, um, you know, and that's up to you if you don't want to. But I want everyone to get accurate messages. And so if it takes a half an hour, it takes a half an hour. There's the moon on the bottom of the deck. There's that intuition again. Um, you're in a, um, I'm going to say a darker period right now, um, Virgo. So for the month of July, or 30 days from now, we can start working through this energy. And I'll be doing collective reads and stuff here and there if the internet allows me. Um, 
Um, let me just let me just start shuffling. So we're gonna do the uh, the eight of pentacles. Um, it's a confusing time for you for some of you Virgos. Oh, another card flew out. Oh, another two, three. Oh no, is there more than that? Okay, no. I say this is gonna take a long time. All right, gonna move that over. Two of pentacles popped out first. You may be trying to juggle too much in your life right now, Virgo, you know? Like I said, being the workaholic. You know, you're, you're working here, you're working here. Maybe you're doing two different projects. Maybe you're working two different jobs, you know? And it's wearing you down. Maybe your strength, you're trying to keep up your strength trying to do this. I mean, what's that Ace of Cups and what? The King of Swords. That Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups is a beginning, and it can mean new love. But it also could mean self-love. That's confusing me a bit. But anyways, you're trying to juggle. And you know, you're at this point right now, Virgo, you may want to pick and choose one of those. And maybe they're new projects. You've taken on more than you can chew. And these flipped face down, so. <laughs> Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. <laughs> they're all pentacles. Wait, it's dark right here. It's dark on my side. I don't know. Here, I'll do it one by one. We got the king of pentacles. We have the Ten of Pentacles. And again, we have the Eight of Pentacles. Now, Virgo, this is, to me, this is you right here, right? Or this is what you want to be. You want to be the king of your castle. You want to have all the luxuries and the most comfortable life you can possibly have. And I mean, I don't know how old you are. Maybe you're still fairly young. And now you're thinking, I need to work now. So when I'm older, I can invest my money. I can do this. I can do that. And that's all great. That's a great way to think, especially in this, these generations where, you know, work is not really a priority, even, you know, that's a small job. But just saying. But um, you want the family. You want it all. Maybe you have some family. If you have family, you may be neglecting them. Work, 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 work. Eight of Pentacles. Work, 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 work. Hey, 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 Virgo, you want to go catch a movie? Want to go do... Oh, I would, but I have to work. <laughs> hey, hey, Virgo, you want to go grab a bite to eat? You know, maybe some other time, but right now I have to work. <laughs> Come on now. Let some of that burden go. If you have projects that you work on at home, or if you have other things you want to do, there's nothing wrong with that, but it's all about balance. And that two of... Where did the two of pentacles go? All right. Wait, no. Where did it go? Wasn't there a two of pentacles here? Oh, yeah, right there. Oh, see, I knew there was a two of pentacles. It's all pentacles. It's all pentacles. This is you. Work, work, work. Trying to do it all. Trying to do it all, Virgo. You're not superhuman. Seriously. You need to get control. Maybe you're trying to control all aspects of your life. You're going to burn out. You are going to burn out. I'm telling you right now. All right, that maybe it's making you a little irritable, too. So maybe you said something nasty to someone because, I don't know, Virgo. Virgos aren't necessarily like that. My dad was not like that. He was a, a very gentle soul, really. Um, but <laughs> so I'm assuming, I don't know, maybe it could be the cancer moon. But I don't know, as far as I know, the ones I've known, the Virgos have been very sweet. All the Virgos I've known. So, all right, Virgo, I love you, Virgos. I do. Five of Swords. Your theme for the month or the next 30 days. Five of Swords. I just heard the spirit say there's no there's no point going further because it's all about the work. The magician. So I'm hearing pick and choose your battles, Virgo. Pick and choose your ba battles. Manifest. You have the tools to manifest things over a course of time. It doesn't have to all be done right now. I feel there are other parts of your life that are, I just heard something for going on, that are um, possibly being affected. The magician is also the master illusionist. So you may be fooling yourself into thinking you're perfectly happy with the way things are going. You're perfectly fine. I can do this. I can get these, this done. I can get this job done. I can whatever. And you may not actually be scrutinizing and looking at the other areas of your life. So 
I don't know what, what your own lives are like, the chariot. Are you running away from something? Is work, okay, is work distracting you from either being lonely or something else in your life that you just don't want to deal with? I mean, a lot of people do that. They'll throw themselves into work or something else so they just don't have to deal with the other aspects of their life. And let me tell you, they're going to haunt you no matter what. What I heard was with this, you have to be careful because if you're, if you're have an illusion of the fact that you can do it all, and I'm okay, I'm okay, and then at some point it may affect your health. You know, you may burn out and it's going to be, that might be the wake up call. Let's hope not. Okay. I'm doing the Knight of Swords first. Because I want to know, oh my God, Virgo. <laughs> Spirit has a really deep message for you here. There's the Seven of Pentacles, more Pentacles. There's the Five of Cups again that you have down here. And the Chariot again, repeat messages. All right, so this is your obstacle here. So the Knight of Swords is going towards the Judgment card, all right? You're going towards that aha moment. I don't think you've gotten there yet. The Seven of Pentacles is telling you to really take inventory of your life. So this is this card is basically about putting in the work, and, and this person is looking at all the fruits of their labor, looking very proud of what they've done, and that's great. That's great. Look what I've done. I, I've gotten this far. But then they have this one pentacle. This one doesn't show it, but the other card. They have to try to decide if this is the, the course they want to keep going on. You know what I mean? So it's like, well, all my work life is great. I'm making good money. I'm doing, getting done what I want to get done. Maybe you're advancing in your job. I'm not sure exactly what's going on if you're working. But then if, you, if the person really looked around the rest of their life, there may be empty voids here and there in certain areas. Okay? So it's like you're running away from something. Something that's disappointed you. You're running away from your emotions is what I'm hearing, Virgo running away from your emotions and you're going fast you're just not even I don't want to think about it I'm just I'm just gonna go trying to move forward but I'm telling you it's gonna haunt you three of wands waiting for something to come along that's not gonna happen if you're in your office 24 7 come on now Virgo that is not gonna happen all right tell me about the judgment card <laughs> waiting for something waiting for something to come along there it is remember I told you Virgo you can't make this thing up the judgment card and after that is the world card this is 20 this is 21 this is in your key goal it's time to open your eyes and be honest here this is the end of a cycle so there's nothing wrong with working hard the high priestess is there again I'm getting the same cards She's saying, Virgo, Virgo, listen over here. I have things planned for your life that are going to bring you those comforts that you want. And I'm proud of you for all the work you've done and the fact that you're so goal-oriented. Awesome. But let me tell you right now, there are other things in your life that you're not dealing with. And there are lessons to be had here. And until you sit down, young man or woman, <laughs> and pay attention to that, High Priest is going to bring this aha moment. The universe is going to bring this moment into your life. And you're going to say, I didn't even realize. It's nice to follow your dreams. But maybe there's a love that's out there for you. A new love. All right. Um, I'm going to do, where are we here? We're going to do justice. Oh, what is this? Hmm. Interesting. I'm not sure where this... I thought there were two cards there. I'm like, what the hell? I'm not sure when this flipped over, but it was in the deck flipped over. Do you see this? Fo More pentacles. Do you see this four of pentacles person? Holding on to those pentacles for dear life. This is my whole life. This is my whole life in my arms. I'm not letting go. Once I let go, covering up the heart. So here's, here's what it is. Your work is a wall for something. You're building a wall of pentacles of coins, of finances. Maybe you're stashing this money. Maybe you're investing it. You've got a nice nest egg, possibly. Or maybe you're stuffing it in your mattress. Who knows? Um, whatever it is, Virgo. You're holding on tight to this and not dealing with something else in your life. This is taking that focus away from 
something. And I, I'm, I'm hearing with this Ace of Cups, it's love. You're either, you've either been hurt in the past and somebody's messed you up and hurt you so bad that you don't, you want love, but you're afraid. So you're throwing yourself in your work. Um, you're pretending. You're, you're a king of swords that I'm fine, I'm stoic, I'm fine. Almost acting cold as ice, even though inside, that's not what's going on. And see how this person's covering, those coins are covering the heart. It's covering up for something. This, and I don't even know where to put this. Simply, I'm just going to put it over here because I don't know where it fell out. I don't know what it was supposed to come out with. And there's the five of swords. It's like you're creating battles in your life and maybe people are saying stuff to you and you're not wanting to listen to it. I really don't know. Oh, wait a minute. I was doing the justice. Excuse me. I was doing the justice. I had coffee, so I'm sorry. Um, I'm just going to do the five of cups and I, I won't uh, clarify the others. Unless I do the ace of wands, but... I don't want to make this terribly long. Where are we? Oh my God, we're already at half an hour. I've lectured enough. I have lectured enough. <clears throat> we have <laughs> the justice is clarified by the justice and the temperance card. So I'm hearing Virgo, bottom of the deck, six of swords. Bottom of the deck, six of swords. It's moving away from those thoughts that think that you have to keep working. Work, 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 work. Step back for a minute. Look at the other aspects of your life and be honest with yourself. Because the universe is going to give you your day in court. They are. They're going to say, okay, Virgo, give us the evidence that you've been balancing everything in your life, that you've been balancing everything in your life, that you've healed from all this. Give us the evidence. Moving away from all of that. Moving away from those thoughts. And then you can celebrate. Six of Wands. Victory. You'll be victorious. One more, Virgo. We're going to do the Five of Cups. And I'm going to let you go. I don't even know what to put for the time for this video. I'll have to go back and watch it. You know, there's nothing wrong with working, but working too much can be a detriment to our, our life and our health. And, it, you know, there's the Ace of Wands again. Okay. Let this fuel your passion. Let this fuel, let this be, a, whatever this disappointment was, Let's, let's stop looking at these three cups. Let's turn around and look at those two cups and use this experience. Take this as a life lesson and use it to, to set a fire under your tushy. And you don't have to stop working. In fact, you may come up with more ideas this way. If you take a break from work, you may have a little bit more creative energy, depending on what you do. Um, it's going to inspire you in a way that you have no idea and it's going to hit you like a, a bolt of lightning this there's going to be an aha moment here that's going to happen virgo and you're going to say holy crap now i know what deep soul terra was talking about what kelly was talking about and once you do that it's going to happen it's going to happen fast things are going to come to you that you had no idea that this would happen from one little thing oh virgo <laughs> i wish i could go on because i really would like to get the details here but this is what I have for you. I hope it was helpful. I don't want to make this an hour-long video, so I'm going to stop it here. Um, I hope this was helpful for some of you. Uh, and if you like this and it resonated, <laughs> even if you didn't, <laughs> if it didn't, please give it a thumbs up. I would appreciate that. Think of that as like a tip. Um, and subscribe and join the tribe if you haven't already. I know this was a little bit, uh, I don't know, this isn't what normally what the Virgos have, but it is, it is a wild one here, Virgo. I, I hope this helped in some way to give a little guidance. And those of you who are workaholics will probably relate to some of this. And if some of you are workaholics, you're going to say, well, I don't know what the hell Kelly was talking about, Deep Soul Terror, but whatever. Um, but do join the tribe, and I'll be doing collective readings and other stuff, and moon phase readings and stuff like that, maybe to give you more information on your situation. All right? Thank you so much for tuning in, Virgo. I love you, and I will see you in the next one, okay? Peace out.